Your health and your money have a closer relationship than you might think. Money is one of the tools we resort to when we're feeling unwell, stressed, depressed, crabby. Yeah. Even our language reflects the relationship, the deep connection between our health and our money. So what about retail therapy? What about when the going gets tough, the tough goes shopping? Yeah, well, intuitively, it's easy to see how more money might result in better health. But how about the other way around? It does work the other way around. More health can create more money. Ho, ho, ho. So, this is what we'll be talking about this week, health and money. I'm Tracy Stewart, and this is your Money Minute. Today, we're talking about your diet, not the one where you try to lose weight, the one that tells you what you're eating. Well, your diet, what you eat, has an enormous impact on your health and your wealth. Okay, if you're getting frequent snacks out of the vending machine, if you're going to the fast food joint for your lunch, and if you're dining out or bringing home prepared foods, this can wreak havoc on your body. You may not see it happening, but give it time. Mm, give it time. All right, eating out is convenient and it can be fun, but let's not overdo it. Not if you wanna be wealthy. If you are continually choosing super healthy and balanced options, that might work in a vending machine, but I don't see too many of those choices, frankly. And if you're out with your friends and everyone is having dessert, everyone at the table is saying, yes, I'll have that chocolate thing, I'll have that vanilla thing, and none of it's just a plate of healthy fruit, is it really that easy to say, no, no, I'm gonna skip and hear them say, oh, come on, you can do it. Uh, yeah, so maybe dining out all the time is mm, fun, but not especially good for your health in the long run. However, eating at home gives you more options, keeps you in control of the food that you'll be eating and of the portions and how it's being prepared because you get to buy the groceries. Well, even then, and of course, you are saving money. And saving money is how to get wealthy. Well, the USDA numbers show that inflation has affected the cost of home-cooked meals, but not very much. The cost of home-cooked meals has not been rising with inflation to the extent that the cost of dining out has been rising with inflation. A lot more than groceries. This does not mean that you should never eat in a nice restaurant again. Of course you should. But don't make it a habit of grabbing meals out of a vending machine or out of a fast food restaurant or making a habit of always having dessert and unhealthy food at restaurants. Go to the grocery store, cook your meals at home, save some money, and be healthy. Financial independence is unbelievably liberating. And by taking care of all the facets of your health, you can build wealth that stands the test of time. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share lots of advice on how to be wealthy and how to keep your wealth. Watch for the next episode of Your Money Minute.